Here we are in section 4.1 with the answers to numbers 1 through 8. Um, find the equation of the line. So we're, we have two ways of doing that. We can either do the y equals mx plus b or ax plus by equals c. This is called slope intercept form because there's the slope and there's the y intercept. And this is ax plus by equals c, that standard form. So you can do either one of them, so we'll do one of each. Here we have slope that we are given, and look, 0, 2, we're given the y-intercept, so I'm going to write that in slope-intercept form, negative 3 fourths x plus 2, and we're all done. That will describe all the line, all the points on the line that has that slope but goes through that one particular point. Kind of neat that we can create that equation. Number 2, we're going to do this with this one. Remember, the slope is the opposite of a over b. So if this is a positive slope, that means one of these guys was negative. So I'm going to write that down as 3x minus 5y, again the opposite sign of that slope. And it goes through 2, 5, so the number that has to end up over here is if we stick a 2 in there and a 5 in there, we get 6 minus 25, that's a negative 19. And there you go. So we could have either one of those, um, you could write it as, uh, you could solve for y here and have this in slope intercept form y equals 3 fifths x plus 19 fifths or you could have written this one as like 3x plus 4y equals 8 and you get the exact same equation so uh, number three use positive exponents here so here we have this negative exponent that negative exponent rides that guy right up to the top and it becomes k to the ninth that's what a negative exponent does is it flips it to the other part of the fraction so this one the a to the fifth is going to stay right there but that guy is going to go down to the bottom and that guy's going to go down to the bottom as a positive three on the bottom and as a positive two on the bottom there we go number five. Oh boy this guy is going to go down to the bottom so we're going to have a z to the first down there, which is just z. Oh, we don't need that guy. Let me get rid of him. So that was a z to the first on the bottom. Then this guy's going to go up to the top, so that's an x to the third. And that guy's going to go up to the top because it has a negative exponent, y to the twelfth. Good. This one says use negative exponents. We are not simplifying these. We are actually writing this as a negative exponent. So we would write this as this is x to the negative 2. That's what would put that guy on the bottom. This one, the 3 is there, and this b is a negative 5. Again, that's what would put that guy down on the bottom. This is a simplified version. We were writing it how it would have been written with negative exponents. And then this one would be 1 times 4 to the negative 2 power. So that's 1 over 16. Reminder of this, this isn't negative 16. That's 1 over 16. The negative exponent doesn't make a negative number. It only makes a fraction. Good.